imitation is the highest form of flattery. You know, which is cool. You know, but at the end of the day, you have to, as the name of the title is, come into your own. And I looked up the term come into one's own. It says become fully effective, used, or recognized. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is because when you come into the truth, the first, you know, uh, instinct or the first thing that you think about or do is you imitate, you know, men that are before you, you know, uh, you imitate other teachers, you know, which you've heard us go into this before. Elder Apostle Gabar goes into it a lot more, you know, dealing with the uh, different stages of learning. You know, one of the very first ones is what? A parrot. And the parrot, all the parrot does is mimic. <clears throat> so although, you know, flattery is the, I'm sorry, uh, imitation is the highest form of flattery, <clears throat> there has to come a point where you have to come into your own. You have to build your spirit. You have to, you know, um, work out your own identity. What the Lord gave you specifically to bring to the table. Now, don't get me wrong, you know, as being teachers and being students, you know, we've, we all have certain mannerisms, certain ways that we teach, certain um, words that we use, you know, certain motions, certain things that we do that are um, the same as our teachers because that's who taught us. I'll give you a small example. Back in, uh, it's either 93 or 94, Elder Paul, well, I know in 93, this when the apostles started coming up to Connecticut to build us up. And uh, there was a point where King Masha, High Priest Arya, and the others, mainly them two, they wanted Apostle Tar to be around them because he was devoting his time to come up to Connecticut to build us up here in Connecticut because we really needed it bad, you know? And, um,. They kept pressuring him on it, but he was, you know, coming up here. So, you know, they they agreed that we would all come down to to the speaking, you know, down in um in uh in Manhattan. You know, we would come to the speaking once a month. We would come to see them once a month. So we were up there, and um, you had back then you had time. You know, you have some somebody might go up for five, ten minutes, or whatever the case is, and the next person go up, then the next person go up. So they put myself up and another individual that, that um, I mean, he's, he's still doing the work, I'll say it like that, you know, um, but he's not a part of Great Millstone anymore, or he's not a part, well, Great Millstone was something that came out in 2007. So he was a part of the Connecticut camp, I'll put it like that. His name was uh, Gadal Mayum, and they put the two of us up to speak, you know. So he first started speaking, I read for him. And then I started speaking, and he read for me. And then when we came down from, from speaking, uh, Yum Yun and uh, the rest of the men that were in Apostar's camp, they said that they could tell that, that Apostar taught us because of our mannerisms and the way that we spoke and things that we brought out. See, so you're going to develop certain things from your teachers, but you have to come into your own, you brothers out there that's learning, because we are a body. And every part of the body does not have the same function. So you have to find out what it is about you that the Lord brought you into this for and build up that spirit, build up your spirit. Because Elder Pops to our spirit is already built up. He already has his identity. He already, you know, you can, if you speak about Elder Pops to our, you already know. You know, you speak about Elder Pops Gabar, Elder Pops Rakad, the bishops, other elders, different brothers, you know, that's already been established. And other brothers that's been in this thing for 10 to 14 years or so, they're, they've are they developed and they're still developing their character. So you already know. So it's up to you to build that personal relationship with Yahweh Bashem Al Shai to build up your spirit. You know, as they say in the, in the so-called churches, you know, you have to, you know, build your relationship with the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. 